Jeez, I can't believe it. Those Rams got the ball. Damn. Bucky. Oh, come on, get him. Intercept, intercept. Oh, God. Touchdown. Hey, Chief. Well, Gertrude, that's Bill Ubell. He's the Rams halfback. They're the other team, Gertrude. Sorry, Bucky. And that flanker back, Lee Williams. Christ, he never misses a kick, that son of a... There goes that Bill Ubell again. Shoot! Ramblin's beating the pants off us. Now, Bucky, don't get so upset. You know what the... 14 to nothing, and we're in the big five. Isn't that number 39, Jim Norris, their full tail? Full tail? Jeez, Jim Norris is their fullback. Oh, Ramblin's knocking the crap out of us. It's a freaking shame. Bill U. Bell, number 25, Lee Williams, number 27. Yeah, yeah. How do they do it? Oh, Jim Norris, 39. You know, it must be Coach Henson. Mother Hen Henson. Oh, maybe. A secret formula, Bucky? Yeah, where does a dump like Ramblin get all that piss and vinegar from anyway? Bucky! Okay. Give, give us an R, R, give us an R, give us an R, A, M. Give us a B, give us an L, give us an I, N, G. Ramblin! Ramblin! Yay, Rams! Stand up and cheat. The mother hen Henson, huh? Aww. And to his little chicken. <laughs> oh, and here's the vacation. 
The longer, the better. Right on, Sissy. The longer, the better. Oh, stop. I'm getting waterlogged. So, what are you guys going to do for your vacation? And uh, what did you have in mind? Sit on it, Lee. I mean, are you going to hang around here or what? Well, we haven't decided yet. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the whole time in bed with Mailer and Ballinger and Vonnegut. <laughs> Maybe I can slip in disguised as Fitzgerald. Yeah. Hey, we'll be back in like about a minute. <laughs> oh, well, we, we, uh, yeah, we have to see a man about a dog. Right, we'll be back with you. About a dog. About a dog? What's the mystery, Monica? I don't know. Uh, Who's he? I don't know. He looks awfully familiar. Yeah, he does. Maybe he does. I wonder what he's doing here anyway. I think I know a way that we can find out. Just leave it to me, gang. <laughs> Well, boys, that's it. Any comments? Well, it sounds great with me, Mr. Langley. A week in Bell Harbor. And all expenses paid. I don't know, Mr. Langley. Rambling has been really good to us, and I don't think I could do that to him. Jim, football isn't a popularity contest. Somebody always gets hurt, right? Let's look at it this way. What does Rambling U have to offer? A second-rate academic program, a poorly financed athletic department. And what about status? <laughs> a degree from Rambling U is practically meaningless in the right places, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know. All right, what does state you have to offer? My everything, Jim. Everything. A degree from state you is your passport to success. That is, if you qualify. That's why we're inviting you down to our conference in Bell Harbor. We'll see if we like each other and if you're the kind of individual state you can accept. Now, if you prove your athletic ability, we can arrange a scholarship and a very lucrative living allowance. Well, boys, what's your decision? It sounds okay to me. It's okay here. Help me in. Well, good. That's settled. I'm sure you'll have a great time at Bell Harbor, and after that, God willing, we'll see you off to State U. I really want to meet Coach Wilson. Oh, well, he'll be there, too, and I'm sure he'll give you a stimulating workout. That son of a bitch is offering them the world. A degree from State U is a passport to success. God damn it, Rambling U is in real trouble, traitors. What are we going to do? I don't know, Monica. Don't they shoot traitors? Only in time of war. Well, what do you call this? Heavy. That does it. We'll just fight fire with fire. Oh, like in the towering inferno. Come on, Coach, please, please listen, listen to us. And if our guys sign up at State U, where are we next year? Let's face it, Coach, it's bad news. Don't you girls think they're overreacting? I heard it with my own ears. Langley is offering them scholarships, money, everything. You believe I think of sleep sex? My hat's off to modern technology. Look, Coach, what is Rambling U going to do? Nothing. Nothing? Look, girls, I realize that if our star players go to State U, the Rams are lost. Now, you got to realize that we are a small college. There's no way Rambling can afford a recruiting program. The best we can offer them is a damn good education. Education? Well, well, maybe if you talked with them. I don't think that would accomplish anything. Besides, I've been looking forward to this camping trip all year. And in the morning, I'm going straight to the mountain. In the team's van? Sure, I'm the coach. 
Some sure kind. Yeah. Are. Well, thanks for everything, Coach. Have a nice trip. I hope it's off a 50-foot cliff. Okay. See you now, girl. All right, girls. I'll give you 30 seconds to tell me who this famous personality is. Okay? Who do I look like? Gertrude Stein. No, Attila the Hun. Come on, girls, be serious. I'll give you a hint. She's a famous <sighs> movie star. Harpo Marx. <sighs> I got it. Lassie. Funny. Don't you think I look like Dolly? No. no. Look what I have. Fresh spring brownie. God, I'm so hungry. I need to <laughs> cars. Oh, did you make these yourself? I sure did. Mm. Monica. Mm. Mm. Sissy, you're a regular Julia child. <laughs> hey, Tony, somebody, give me a towel. I want to take a shower. Come on, you can take a shower with me. Here's your towel. are about as much fun as an autopsy. And I suppose at a time like this, you want to cut up. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do? Mope around for the rest of our lives? Well, nobody likes to be on a losing team. You know, damn well, once our boys go to Bell Harbor, we're sunk. Well, maybe they won't like it there. Or maybe those state you dudes won't like them. I doubt it. Hey, maybe she's right. Bad chance. No, no, no. What if they don't play well? What if they really screwed up? What if they had such a miserable time that they'd reject state use offer or vice versa? No way. Have you ever been to Bell Harbor? It's beautiful. The beach, the sun, holy shit. No, Cheryl, you're missing the whole point. What if four little cheerleaders took a little trip to Bell Harbor and deliberately sabotaged their whole conference? Yeah, and while they're down there, Maybe recruit some new state you players and come back to rambling you as a hero. Heroin? Isn't that hard stuff? Look, girls, I hate to burst your bubble, but how are we supposed to accomplish all this? We don't have any scholarships to offer them and we have no money to bribe them with. What do we have? What do we have? Here's what we have. Here. Oh, we've got the greatest asset rambling you ever had, us. And are we gonna use it? Yeah. Monica, I think you got it. <laughs> Is it catching? <sighs> now, the big problem, wheels, bread, and a place to stay. Well, I've got $50. And I've got about the same. Well, I can scrape up another $100. Good, I can dig up $50, so that makes $250. Well, that should cover food and gas. But what about wheels and a place to stay? Well, I've got the wheels. Come on, that heap? Ha! Huh, we'd have to pay a junkyard to take that wreck. We gotta get there, fast. What we need is a van or something like that. Yeah, maybe we can go to tent. Tent? You know, go camping out. Like Coach Henson. Coach Henson. Van. Tent. What do you think, girl? Yeah!
position. What kind of mission? Do it. <laughs> are you ready for the recruits, girls? The question uh, is, are they ready for us? <laughs> from Alabama U and Bruce Jacobs from UCLA. Let me see. Can you see O.J. Simpson? I don't see Mitch Stevens. Who's he? He's only State U's best player. He played on the All-Star team this year. Oh, is he cute? Mm, I'll say. What do you think? Ooh, they could huddle over me anytime. Cheryl, what she means, how should we approach this? Why not the rear approach? Oh, I like that. Oh, you would. Listen, Tony, we can't make it obvious. We've got to make it look casual-like. That sounds great, but how? Damn it, I don't know. Uh-oh, girls, we've got competition. Hey, come on, it's my turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What is it, Monica? What? Oh, double rat. They're so tiny. Thank you. Well, what's so wrong? Those girls, that's what's wrong. So that's Langley's bait. Yeah, and the guys are taking it hook, line, and sinker. Gonna make our work a lot harder, girls. Maybe we could have them eliminated. No. We could hire a hitman. Oh, sure. What are we gonna pay them with? Well, maybe they take credit cards. So, girls, I'm getting hungry. Let's go back to camp. Oh, you oh, girls yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna look around a while. Oh, okay, yeah. we'll see you later, Bye, Monica. Monica. Take care.
I can have you arrested as a spy. Oh, I wasn't spying. I... Oh, yeah? Hey, aren't you Mitch Stevens? Sounds familiar. Yeah, that's who I am, Mitch Stevens. Well, why aren't you out there? Why should I? I'm uh, already recruited. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't I'm... tell me. Uh, you're from Rambling U, <laughs> and you're a cheerleader. And your name is, let me think, your name is... Monica. Monica, <laughs> that's right. Well, Monica, what are you doing in uh, Bell Harbor? Oh, we're just here on vacation. Oh, uh, who's we? My girlfriends and I. We just decided to come here for a few days. Well, do you always travel with these? Oh, just checking out the scenery. Yeah, the scenery's pretty lovely from here, isn't it? Have you noticed the curves on the shoreline? You know, and I also really like how the way the dunes stack up, yeah. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty beautiful picture. Well, Mitch, it's been nice meeting you, but I have to go now. Hey, why don't we get together sometime, uh, let's say tonight around 8 o'clock at the Rat's Nest? Rat's Nest? What's that? It's just a hangout for the players. Hey, listen, it's a real dive. You'll love it. I'll see you there. I think I've run out of gas. You can help me out? I don't think so, but I think you can help us. One, two, three, four! is really the living end. Whose end are you talking about? All right, girls. Fun time is over. Now we move on to phase one. Approach and attack. I'll take Stanley Kraut. That's the one I wanted. Both of you can have him. Tony, you're on your own. I'll work on Mitch if he ever gets here. You know, if you can get Mitch Stevens to sign up with the Rams, that would really make the headlines. Speak of the devil. Oh, Monica, you want to switch? You gotta be kidding. Now get out of here. Go on. Well, I see you made it. Oh, hi, Mitch. Yeah, I had nothing else to do. Nothing else to do? Thanks a lot. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. What I meant was I... I think you better stop while you're ahead. Okay. What are you drinking? Honey. Bartender, two beers. Not with you, stupid. Oh! 
I sure would like to find some nice southern gentlemen who'd like to dance with a couple of southern bells like us. Aren't you from Alabama? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, wouldn't you like to know where we're from? <laughs> yes, ma'am. God, I thought he'd never ask. Well, we're from the South, too. You know, Grits and Black Eyed Peas and Billy Carter. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Well, wouldn't you like to dance with us? Uh, yes, ma'am. Is that all you can say is yes, ma'am? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> Hey, that's amazing. We're both majoring in biology. Yeah. Hey, you never told me what you're doing here for the summer. I'm working for my professor. Oh. He has a lab set up on his boat. Damn it, that reminds me. I have to go check out some tests. You want to come along? I'll show you the lab. Sure, I'd love to. I'm gonna love you. Remember, it's for rambling you. Cube in hell, girls. Look who's here. Oh. Well, just jump on my back and call me Trigger. If it isn't rambling news, fine. What are you guys doing here? Just came down to kill some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I thought they came down. What a coincidence. We're all here together. Isn't it a coincidence? Tell us, Bill, do your playmates have names? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Cheryl, Tony, Monica, and Sissy. This is honey, ginger, and sugar. Sounds like a recipe for a fruitcake. <laughs> We're awfully pleased to meet you. Same here. Oh, you're those little cheerleaders from Rambling You. I've always admired you girls. You know, it's just amazing how you get the courage to get up in front of a crowd and make fools of yourselves. <coughs> I think it's just wonderful how you cheerleaders give your all for your team. Well, we'd love to stay in chit chat, but we do have reservations. Ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm. Adios, amigo. 
and I'm going with Nick to see what you can find out. See you later. Now what are we going to do? Let me handle it. Just get Stanley and be ready to leave in a minute. What makes you think he's going to come? Just tell him we have cornbread and grief. He'll come. Just trying and not to sin Looking for paradise I'm gonna love you <laughs> You bet <laughs> Man, You guys are gonna just love state you well, The preview looks good yeah. Well, there's a few things you'll have to get adjusted to What do you mean by that? The state you standards are far superior And you won't find any cheap cheerleaders there it to you, but uh, he's throwing a cocktail party tomorrow afternoon, and he wants us all there. Oh, yeah? And what's that for? Oh, it's just a little get-to-know-you party. You'll meet the dean and his wife and the faculty members. Are you ready? Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> oh! 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 All right, buddy, put your hands up. What about Fleetwood Mac? Oh, yeah, they're great. Yeah, aren't they? Do you like the Grateful Dead? Sure, I love them. They have all their albums. Hey, so do I. Really? Well, this is it. This is where the lab is. What do you think? Oh, not bad. <laughs> What's he researching? Well, don't laugh now, but uh, we're finding ways to control human parasites. Ooh, you mean like fleas and lice? Yeah, and much more. Here. Wow, this is great. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what's furious pubis? Oh, those little buggers are crabs. Crabs? Oh, where'd you get them? Off a toilet seat. Where else? No. Are you all set for next year? I mean, have you registered for the next semester yet? You mean, am I going to play for State U or not? Well, yes. Well, I haven't officially registered. And so far, there haven't been any better offers. Oh, you mean you'd consider another offer? Well, maybe. What do you have in mind? Mitch, I'm going to level with you. Yeah? The girls and I aren't here on vacation. We're here to recruit some new players for the Rams. If we strengthen just a couple of our positions, Rambling you would be unbeatable. What do you think? I think you're adorable. No, I mean about the team. Hey, I think they're a good team, but I think you're dynamite. You really think so? Yeah. You mean about the team? I really don't know, but uh, let me see. Mm. Yeah, they're good. I better go, Mitch. Hey, just like that? Yeah, I have to get up early. I have a lot of things to do. Hey, uh, what, will we be able to see each other soon? Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Try to understand, Stanley. If you sign up with the Rams, that will mean we'll have the best tackle of any school. Now, how about that, huh, Stanley? Oh. Uh... I don't know, ma'am. He needs more wine. Look, Stan, if you sign with the Rams, you could possibly go to the Rose Bowl. I can see the headlines now. Stanley Krause single-handedly wins the Rose Bowl game. I don't know, ma'am. 
What don't you know, Stanley? Oh. Let me alone with him for a while. What have we got to lose, Cheryl? Okay. Well, I sure could use some fresh air. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me too. That sounds like a good idea. You stay here. Stanley, you know, we could offer you more than a scholarship in football. Yes, ma'am. Wow, your muscles are so tight. Bet it's from carrying all those heavy balls. You need a good massage. Doesn't that feel good? Yes, ma'am. He what? Signed up with the Rams? That's right, Mr. Langley. We tried to warn you about those girls. Yes, 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 I know. But how was I to know those cheerleaders were recruiters? All right. They outsmarted us with Stanley Krauss. But we'll be one step ahead of them this time. What I want you girls to do is keep your eyes on those rambling you guys. And don't let those preposterous pom-pom pussycats near them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And another thing. Keep those cheerleaders away from my cocktail party. Yes, yes sir, Mr. Langley. Remember when you get this heap started. I want you straight out of this county. And I don't ever want to see your face again. Got that? Yes, sir. No way. They got security all around the house. I think they're on to us, Monica. There's got to be a way. We've just got to get in. Huh? Um, what have we got to get in for? Look, dum dum, we have to find a way to make that cocktail party a bomb. We don't want our guys to have a good time, now do we? Oh, well, I guess not. Well, why don't we throw our own party instead? Oh, come on. Hey, that's a great idea. You mean now? No, I mean Friday night. We'll show our guys what a real party is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's great, but uh, how do we go about screwing up Langley's party? I think there's just got to be a way. What about a disguise? Oh, you must be kidding. I've got it, I've got it! <laughs> This is Dean Higgins and Mrs. Higgins. How do you do? How do you do? Yeah. This is Bill Ubell. Nice to meet you. Lee Williams. Sir. And Jim Norris. 
Oh, how you doing? Soon to be formally with the Rambling University Rams. Wow. Very pleased to meet you, young man. You must find it very exciting to have the chance to be accepted by one of the most prestigious schools in the country. Don't you think so, my dear? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. You should be very honored. Pardon me. Punch anyone? Oh, just a little. Of course. Oh, do you have any beer? Uh, no, dear. I do hope that you boys will be an asset to the university, uh, scholastically as well as athletically. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What's in the punch? Absolutely nothing. Oh, we're going to have to fix that. Cheryl, see what's in the kitchen. Sissy, start hawking your brownies, OK? And Tony and I will do the same. Right. Right. And I'm sure you'll enjoy our golf course, yes. Uh, I'll be right here. I'll be right back. I have a sweet to Langley. Later. Bye. Tell me, boys, are you finding Bell Harbor enjoyable? Yeah, it's just fine. <laughs> well, you certainly should. Yes, it's uh, very nice to be here, ma'am. Isn't this a wonderful old house? Brownies, anyone? Oh, oh, no, thank you, dear. Try one. They're really good and practically no calories. Well, if you insist. <laughs> this house has quite a history. And did you boys know it's supposed to be haunted? Hmm. My, these brownies certainly are good, aren't they, boys? Yeah, I hope they are. We'll have yeah. another. It seems the original owner was a sea captain, and he returned home one day to find his wife and another gentleman in a most shocking situation. What kind of situation was that, ma'am? What happened next, ma'am? Well, he killed them. <laughs> That's right. Killed them both right upstairs. And they say that even unto this day, his wife and her lover still haunt those rooms. Really? Mm -hmm. huh. Yes, thanks. Jesus, you look familiar. What's your name? Uh, Maria. Uh, that's it, Maria Gonzalez. Maria, aren't you the girl no that I... No speak English, adios. <laughs> I'm sure they're quite capable, but I cannot give my approval until I personally see them play. Oh, but Dean, their academic records are perfect. Screw their brains. Can they play? But, but, but I guarantee it, sir. I cannot accept that. I want to see them play. It's my neck, you know. Well, then, how about day after tomorrow? All right, that's just fine. Young lady. Yes, sir? Another one of those brownies, please. <sighs> Hey, I can't believe it. Damn. <laughs> hey, you know, I can't wait to introduce you to the other guys. They really think you're something, Mitch. Hey, well, listen, uh, it's just going to have to be some other time. I really got to get to work, OK? Oh, yeah, hey, OK. See ya. You won't believe this, young man, but when I was young, I had quite a figure. <laughs> so many gentlemen proposed marriage to me. Uh. And it would make your head spin. <laughs> oh, and I was quite a dancer, too. <laughs> oh, I still am. I feel as graceful as the wind. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you, young man. Rambling you. Oh, 
are so low. Punch? Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Backfire in our faces. That's the greatest kick ass, mother. Shoot. We did a great job, damn it. Hey, anybody want some more brownies? Did you ever consider having yourself committed? Hey, Monica. Oh, God, it's the bionic beauty. Hold the fort, ladies. I'll be right back. <laughs> What are they saying? He's saying, Look, squaw, you and me go make whoopee my teepee. Oh, and she's saying, Why, Red Butler, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Don't give me any of your bull, woman, when sun sets, you and me go make much humpum. Humpum for wampum? No wampum, no humpum. <laughs> <laughs> Have a date with Mitch. Oh. No, hump em for whomp em. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, let's get back on the track. What are we gonna do about the guys? Damn it. Come on, Monica, get with it. And wipe that ghostly smile off your face. Ghostly. Ghostly girls, I've got it!
Come on. Wow, this place is really creepy at night. Are you sure this is gonna work? I don't know, but Monica said so. That's easy for her to say. She's out on a date with Mitch. Come on, let's move it. I don't want to go. What's wrong now? Well, it might really be haunted. Get your hands back on the ladder. Well, what if it really is? Listen, you guys, there's no such thing as ghosts. <sighs> okay, Cheryl, move it or lose it. I'm not gonna go first. <sighs> okay, Sissy, you go. I'm not going. Well, I'm scared. <sighs> you chicken shits. All right, follow me. What are you thinking about? Us. And? And also how I should be thinking about the girls and how they're doing without me. like somebody's having a lot of fun. Jesus Christ, it's stereo. Must be the captain's wife. Get out of here. There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, John. That must be the captain. Let me go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. sighs> <sighs> 
Christ, how many wives do you have? Christ, am I scared? What are you scared about? Worst thing that happens, getting laid by a ghost. again. Do you hear me? We did it. We spooked the traitor. I bet you we scared the shit out of those bastards. Yeah, we're going through the kill at the Pom Pom Beach Party. <sighs> you! You! I don't know what moral principles they taught you at rambling you, but at state you they are high. Gentlemen, I'll see you first thing in the morning. Oh! Ah! In the morning. Jim? Monica? Okay, bye. Damn, they've been grounded. What? Grounded? What happened? Langley grounded them for having girls in their room last night. Shit, screwed <laughs> again. And we did it all by ourselves. What about the party? We'll have a party, and with our guys, too. Come on, Cheryl, why don't you leave with me, okay? I'd love to. I'd love to dump every creep here, but I can't. I'm one of the hostesses. Hello. Hi. 
Gosh, I sure would like to get to know you. I'd like to get to know you too, but not now, maybe later, sweetheart. <laughs> their asses once and for all i'll take care of this with one little phone call later He's on his way. Well, boys, as I see it, you have only two choices. You can stay here the rest of your lives, satisfying your primitive desires and wallowing in your stupidity, or you can leave instantly, thus transcending this barbaric lowlife and rising to a higher, more sophisticated class. Well? And as for you, Mitch, I'm very disappointed in you. You represent the best of state you. How could you allow yourself to be drawn down to their level? Hey, look, Mr. Langley, I, I resent the attitude you take. You taking. resent? Must I remind you that you have signed for next season and that you will represent state you in the best of light? You had no intention of ever joining. You were just using me. Hey, I was trying to tell you all evening. Look, I, I wasn't trying to use you. I really like you, Monica. And 
I want to see you again and again. Well, I don't. I don't like liars. Well, there's nothing else to do, sissy. It's over. Girls, I've got to tell you something. I've decided to quit the cheerleaders. Oh, why? Oh, Monica, come on. You know we've got a rotten team. Who wants to root for losers? Oh, we're going to miss you. Come on, sissy, don't take it so hard. I can't help it. Everything's just been going wrong. First we lost the guys, and well, all these mosquitoes were keeping me up all night. It was horrible. Wait, what was that? I said everything's going wrong and I can't. No, no. I mean about the mosquitoes. Oh, uh, those damn things are driving me crazy. I was just scratching and itching. Oh, great, girls. I've got it. Hey, what's Pythereus pubis? Oh, these little buggers are crabs. These boys are as good as you say. It can mean a great box office next season. Hell, box office? What am I talking about? I can get a great contract with the networks. <laughs> Thank you. 
It proves one thing. You can't put a monkey in a suit and expect him to behave like a man. But there's no room for monkeys at State U. And it's obvious that anyone from rambling you has no moral integrity. Moral integrity? Did you hear that guy's moral integrity? Who's the one offering these shady deals, huh? Free scholarships, unreturnable loans. And for what, because of our IQs? No, they want a piece of meat that can play ball so they can raise their revenues. Yeah, but when they talk, we don't have to go to class. He's going to pass us as long as we're good on the field. But one fumble and you're out on your ass. You know what, Mr. Langley? Why don't you take State University and shove it about 10 feet up your ass? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, right. Right. yeah. You know it, man. You know it. Yeah. Mitch. Mitch, don't listen to them. They don't understand football. <laughs> they think it's just a game. I'll tell you right now, though, it's big business. And if you're smart, you won't pay any attention to what they're saying. Hey, look, Mr. Lamia, I don't think the way you do. And here's your contract. Hey, Monica. Do you think uh, I'm acceptable material for rambling you now? Well, what do you think, girls? Mitch will yeah, have right to head off. Yeah, right. you 